Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, so today I was home and I wanted to get a lot of stuff done. Um, I just recently picked up the Pesco or Pilot um, Precision, I'm sorry, the Perception Pesco or Pilot 12 uh, from a friend of mine. So I finally got to upgrade to a pedal kayak, which got the pedal drive here. Um, I made a few modifications. I did make my own cart, which I'll do in a video on how I made it and where I found the stuff to do it. Um, I took an old yoga mat and made some uh, little makeshift floor mats. Uh, the glue adhesive I already I used is already starting to come up and it hasn't even hit the water yet. Um, but today I wanted to talk about the live uh, bait container I made today. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research and as everybody knows, live bait um, goes bad very, very quickly. Um, so what I wanted to do was look up some good ways to help save it. Um, so what I came up with um, after looking at everything was finding a cooler which I went to Walmart and got this one for about 10 bucks. It holds, it says 18 cans. Um, a lot of the other ones were actually using this size here, uh, which is a lot bigger. But for me, I wanted to keep it small so I had room for other things. So I went and got this here. Um, I got a little net for like two or three bucks from Walmart. Um, everything I got was at Walmart. Um, then I went to the fish, um, like aquarium section, ended up picking up a new stone uh, for an aquarium, this was two or three bucks. Um, it's a lot larger. It's going to get a lot more air going in. Um, and then the tubing that came with the little aerator, which I went to the outdoor section and found the little bubble box. And I think it says with the batteries, it's good for 45 hours of nonstop continuous use, which is more than enough. Um, but the also thing that I heard, which I'm going to do, is get a little plug-in-the-wall aerator for if I'm camping and I have access to a 12 volt or, can, or somewhere where I can plug it into the wall and actually save my battery. Um, so what I did was, all I did was drill one small hole to run the line through and then ran it through and used Gorilla Tape, double sided Gorilla Tape to um, uh, tape the um, stone down into the center here. That way um, it is insulated. Uh, the lid's not, but I had some foam spray that I can use to insulate. I'm gonna thinking about making one of these holes a little bit bigger, putting the tube for the insulation foam in, and that way it can insulate the top. But the sides already are insulated, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, but this should help keep minnows, shrimp, and whatever live bait alive a little bit longer than just using a bucket and an aerator. So yeah, cheap way to quickly and effectively, this all cost me about 20 bucks total. Um, and that's not including the batteries. I didn't buy batteries, but I bought a few other things at Walmart. That's why I couldn't trade the receipt just because it's got other stuff on there. But, um, you know, for 20 bucks, give or take, you can make yourself a really nice uh, bait bucket. That cooler there is on sale now for about 14 or $15 at Walmart. This one's 10. I just like the smaller size. Uh, be easier for me to move around. Um, and here shortly, soon, I'll do a review of the Pescador Pilot once I finally get it out on the water. I'm still waiting for the opportunity to actually get it out. But uh, talk to you guys later. Hope uh, you guys get a chance to build something and make your life a little easier on the kayak. Line's tight. Later, guys.